Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to change out the tensioner and serpentine belt and idler pulley on an N52 engine in the E90 platform. Here's our tensioner that comes with a replacement aluminum bolt. We have our continental serpentine belt. and the idler pulley by the alternator. Now in order to release tension on our tensioner that's in the car, you will need a T60 Torx bit. Now it's really common on these cars for the tensioner to fail over time, and the tensioner has failed on this car. So I'm gonna start the engine and show you how much play there is of the tensioner sort of wiggling back and forth. Um, that demonstrates that it's failed. Now when this happens over time these motors the N52 as well as the N54 are notorious for the serpentine belt breaking and getting sucked in through the crank seal of the motor and in a lot of cases that can pretty much grenade or destroy the motor once the belt gets sucked in through that seal. So this is definitely uh, one of those maintenance items to keep an eye on and Typically when you buy a new car or a used car, uh, it's a good idea to check the condition of that belt and if it's in question and you're not sure when it was last done, definitely spend the $90 or so on the tensioner kit and belt and replace it uh, just for peace of mind. Unlike the N54 engine, there's a ton of room in here to fit your hands in and a lot of you may be able to change out the belt without removing the air box. However, since I am filming this, um, I'm going to remove the air box so that there's a better camera angle and you guys can see just exactly what I'm doing. So to remove this box, I'm going to loosen up the hose clamp here for the intake bellow, disconnect the map sensor, and then we have two 10 millimeter bolts We'll loosen up this plastic piece here and the whole air box will lift out. I'm going to use this screwdriver pick here to lift up on our clip for the map sensor. There we go. And we'll loosen the hose clamp with a flathead screwdriver. Now if you do end up removing your air box, uh, it's interesting to note that on the E90 N52 air box, you have to remove it to separate the two pieces here. You have to split it in order to replace the air filter. And I have a DIY on how to do that, which I will link also in the description below. Now the first thing we need to do is release tension from our tensioner here so we can slip the serpentine belt off. So we'll take our T60 Torx bit. This is a 3 8 drive on a breaker bar. Be sure to push the bit all the way in and make sure it's fully seated. And we're gonna turn the breaker bar clockwise to release tension. And as we're holding this, it takes a bit of force, we're gonna slip off the belt. And as you can see here, this belt was in pretty bad shape and it's kind of starting to delaminate here. I think we definitely caught this one in time. Next, we'll remove the old tensioner from the car and we're gonna need an E14 
inverted Torx or female Torx socket to remove the bolt that secures it. And to crack this loose, we will turn counterclockwise. And there we go. Here's the old tensioner. And I should note this bolt here is aluminum and it cannot be reused um, due to the nature of this material and the stretching of the bolt once it's torqued. So these kits, the kit that you purchase um, that comes with the tensioner and a belt also should come with a replacement aluminum bolt. And as you can see here, the new tensioner comes with the new bolt. There's also a pin here holding the tension on the tensioner, which will be removed once it's bolted to the car. We'll release tension with our T60 bit and remove this pin. And our final step here is to remove our old noisy idler pulley that's right below the alternator. And to do that, we'll first use a flathead screwdriver to pry off the dust cap that protects the bearing. Then we can access the bolt and remove it from the car. And this bolt is going to be a 16 millimeter. Here's our new idler pulley. And interesting to note, this also comes with a new bolt and a new dust cap. So if your dust cap was missing for some reason, not to worry, the new kit comes with everything that you need. Here's a chunk of rubber belt dust that was stuck to the alternator because of our failing tensioner, it was allowing the belt to rub on one of these components and slowly disintegrate and shred over time. Okay, here's the new tensioner and we'll just bolt this back into place. And the torque spec for the bolt for this idler deflection pulley here is 30 foot-pounds of torque or the equivalent of about 40 newton meters. And for our new tensioner, the torque on this bolt is 18 foot-pounds plus 90 degrees. So we're going to torque this uh, with our torque wrench to 18 foot-pounds and then we're going to put a regular socket back on here on a regular breaker bar and I'm going to crank it um, 90 degrees. And now we can install the serpentine belt. This is a Continental 6PK1990. Now if you get confused at this point, um, it's not a big deal because I always have to refer to the belt diagram. Um, so I remember exactly the orientation of how the belt goes back on the car. Now that our belt is routed 90% of the way there, we can install the T60 Torx bit back into our tensioner and we're going to crank on that so we have more room 
to slip the belt onto the idler here on the tensioner. Finally, let's not forget to install the dust cap on our deflection pulley. And finally, we'll install the airbox back into the car. Make sure the hose clamp is tight and plug in our sensor 